Well, I think we're talking a little too much about hitters. How about we talk about some pitchers, huh? Good idea. All right. Um, as I mentioned in previous slides uh, earlier, it's uh, important to gauge your value in properly spending on starting pitching, especially the high-level ones. Um, with that in mind, we have five $10 starting pitchers who can earn you $25 in 2009 based on their statistical indicators and their skills. We have Manny Power, the Milwaukee Brewers, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, cheap, late, whatever you draft him uh, at value. This is where surface stats are masking skills. Uh, it doesn't show the skills that he had last year. His 2008 base performance values by month showed a growth through the middle of the season. They read 39, 49, 60, 86, 108, and 72. Now, he was actually moved to the bullpen for half of September, so that kind of diminished that a little bit. But he still posted a great combination of a dominance ratio and a ground ball rate that has the makings of growth into the elite ranks. He had a 34% hit rate also, and he had a 3.84 expected ERA in that time. So the key, and the key uh, period of growth for him was May through August. 11 of his 15 outings in that time were dominant pure quality starts, meaning he was strikeout heavy and he didn't really hurt himself that much. That bullpen was also pretty bad in Milwaukee last year, as you probably all know. And even Trevor Hoffman's uh, addition this year, as risky and as old and as declining and no fastball, whatever you want to say, it's still better than what they had at that time. Giovanni Gardner, is going to be, Giovanni Gardner will be commanding most of the attention in Milwaukee, but you can get power at a much cheaper rate, and he can give you just as much strikeout upside. Hi, I'm Ron Chandler from BaseballHQ.com, and I'd like to invite you to join us at First Pitch Forums. These are three-hour conferences that we hold all across the country where fantasy leaguers gather to talk baseball in an environment that fosters creativity and, and just lots of fun. We, we are in places across the country from California to Cleveland, Chicago, Washington, New York, and Boston, straight through the middle of March. We'll talk sleepers, we'll talk gambles, we'll talk minor leaguers who might fail or undervalued players, players going too early or too late in drafts. And we have interactive activities like bidding on players and then and, and trying to create our own projections. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us this year.